In this video, we'll look at graphing quadratic functions by identifying key points. A quadratic equation is one that is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Any equation that's in this form will generate this u-shape, which we call a parabola. The u-shape has several key pieces of information that we can pull off of the equation to make graphing it easier. The first thing we're interested in is the direction of the graph. The direction of the graph is based on the first value, a. If it is greater than 0 or positive, the parabola will open up. If it is less than 0 or negative, the parabola will open down. This is easy to remember because if a is positive, the parabola is happy, and if a is negative, the parabola is sad. Another key piece of information we'll look for is where the graph crosses the y-axis. We call this the y-intercept. The y-intercept is easy to identify because we know the x-value at this point is 0. If each of the x's are equal to 0, the only thing left is c. c will be the y-intercept. Similarly, we'll also be interested in when the graph crosses the x-axis at the x-intercepts. There will always be two x-intercepts, as long as they're real, and we know the y-value there is 0. So we will set the equation equal to 0 in order to find the x-intercept. 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c is quickly solved by either factoring, completing the square, or the quadratic formula. The last key point we find is the point where it changes direction at the bottom, or top, called the vertex. The vertex has two components we need to find. The first is the x-coordinate, which we find by taking the values for a and b in the equation using the simple formula, the opposite of b over 2a. Notice this is the quadratic formula without the square root. To find the y-value of the vertex, we'll simply plug x into this function and evaluate to see what we get for y. Let's take a look at an example where we identify this key information to help us graph the function. In this problem, we can start by identifying the direction based on the value for a, which is a positive 1. Because that's positive, we know the direction and shape will be a happy parabola opening up. Next, we can identify the y-intercept. If x is 0, the only thing left would be the negative 3. This means the graph crosses the y-axis at negative 3. We have the first point on our graph. We can also find the x-intercept by making the equation equal 0. When we say x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0, we can quickly solve by factoring to x minus 3 times x plus 1 equals 0. Setting each factor equal to 0, we can quickly find the two x-intercepts by adding 3. The first x-intercept is at 3 on the x-axis, and subtracting 1 to get our second x-intercept of negative 1 on the x-axis. The only thing left to find is the vertex, which we do by using the formula the opposite of b over 2a. Remember from the quadratic formula, we get a, b, and c from our coefficients. So the opposite of b will be positive 2 over 2a, or 1. This reduces to 1, so 1 must be the x-value of the vertex. To find our y, we plug 1 in, getting 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3, and evaluate to get y equals 1 minus 2 minus 3, or y equals negative 4. The vertex, then, is at an x-y point, 1 comma negative 4. Plotting this point and connecting the dots, we get the u-shape we would expect opening up in our parabola. Part 2, we'll see another.